My name is David Eby. We're at Wakarusa, Indiana. The name of the company is AgriFlight Services. We started in 1973. We've been here almost 40 years. Currently, we operate nine airplanes. We work in uh, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana, Michigan, Illinois, and Wisconsin. We are aero applicators. We make aero applications to crops, primarily spray mosquitoes, and also we also work for the forestry department, spraying gypsy moth. So in 73, I bought my first airplane. It was brand new, it was a Cessna 188. Flew it for the first couple years. I flew by myself until about, until my youngest son came back from college. And since then we went from two people to nine pilots. We primarily do insecticides to control insects. And the other thing we do is we do seeding. We put fruit and put fertilizer on, which is the same equipment. It goes through a spreader. Right now we're doing a lot of urea on corn as a nitrogen source. And then we'll be, this fall, we'll be doing cover crops and planting wheat, things like that. Uh, this next month is our busiest month. We'll be doing a lot of fun fungicides on corn and soybeans, which is a big market for us because farmers have been averaging 20 to 30 bushel yield increases by a fungicide application. The plant stands better and you got better quality grain so for the investment it's a big return. From the black colony to the cockpit is brown. That's a fiberglass hopper and all egg planes that's where the chemical is stored. We put it there because it's right on the CG so that when we're spraying we don't have to worry about changes in center, center of gravity on the airplane. When we're spraying, it comes out the spray boom that's on the airplane. It comes out there, and then when it's on a spreader, it's attachment, it's under the center of the airplane. Drift is a tough one because from our perspective, when we ask to spray a field, we don't know the exact weather conditions at the location. So having on-site information is a big deal for us, and it's getting better. We developed a program called AgSync, which we look at the field before we go out. We know where the houses are at around the field. We know the areas we need to be careful about. So we um, locate those and deal with those. For instance, a drift program called Drift Watch. It was developed by Indiana, the Purdue University years ago. It was a way to keep applicators informed of what's around the crop. People can register the bees. They can register organic sites. And it comes up on AgSync when we look at our field we're going to spray. So we see where these areas are at, and if we got bees, we can call the beekeeper, let him know what we're spraying, what time his bees are in, let him cover them up. It's eliminated a lot of problems, just having that communication to know ahead of time the issues before we go out, and that's helped us a lot. I'm David Eby from Wakarusa, Indiana, and I found my voice with Indiana Farm Bureau.